Welcome everyone to Sansar once again. We're at a house on the hill by Theony, or however you pronounce that. The description for this place is that it's a peaceful rural town on the grassy hills of clouds flying across the sky. Birthplace and resting place of great alchemists. And that last bit's actually a bit important because we'll see a, we'll see why in a little bit. But yeah, this place is basically along the lines of a landscape. It doesn't appear to be that uh, any of the houses are actually enterable. Because sometimes you'll get places. Well, actually, another sp spot by this person it has a uh, has like the teleporting in it to other spaces. So, a bit surprised there's not any here. But it definitely is like a lovely looking landscape. I haven't seen a sky done like this before. Here in Sandscar, and this place, Sandscar, <laughs> uh, and this place uh, is fairly old, I believe. I think it's. I remember seeing it like towards the when they first put out the open beta. I think. Doesn't look like we can go in, can't go any further this way. So maybe there's an invisible block uh, coming from not being on the road. I guess we'll take a look and see in a sm second here. Nope, it ends off here. Yeah, you can actually see the shading effect. You can see the clouds actually affect the light, the sun, the light source basically up that way with the shadows on the ground. Which is a really neat effect, I have to say. I always said that was one of Sansar's strong points. Uh, basically how the environment can be. Uh, before I'd also say the animation, but now that we have uh, Animesh in Second Life, it's not as... Uh, it's very close to being the same now, I think. Looks like we have a tiny graveyard here as well. I wasn't expecting that. Here we can see a little red gem or something on those lines here. Can't interact with it though. We'll go ahead and continue along these pathways though and see what we can find. Who knows, maybe we'll find somebody to talk to along the roads. Really like this work. The same person also did the, um, the Synthwave place I've covered in the past as well. So, so far I can definitely say I really like their work and what they put into it. I think there might be a couple more places they've done, but I think this one and the Synthwave place is uh, the most known in Sansar for them. So I've seen this spot on the featured page quite a few times. And it definitely des de deserves to be on there. And we got the purple house, nice. Endless Hills. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back this way. We'll see what that uh, big building on top of the hill that I think this place is uh, mentioning in particular here in a moment. Just kind of want to make sure to take a look at all these pathways while I can. Oh, we have something up this way. Off, I have an offer to propose to you. How would you like to live forever? I hold the wisdom need to make it happen. I just require some special material first. As you can see, I'm a bit of mere dwarf in a flask and can't receive it myself. Let's find it and bring it to me. The Philosopher's Stone. Hmm. Mugglas, find the red, shiny Philosopher's Stone. It's hidden somewhere in the town. I need it for the immortality ritual. I promise it'll be worth your wild. Well, that's definitely curious, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like we found a hidden quest here that I wasn't expecting, right? The quest system is like one of the biggest things that I think Sansar has gotten here. And I'm sure some of you probably might recognize this person. That's probably the reference to this place becomes a bit more clear now. I do believe we found a Philosopher's Stone not too, while, not too long ago, didn't we? A certain red gem somewhere. So let's go ahead and grab that now. It should be interactable with us now. Yep, 
Here we are. And we've collected it. Now this should have changed now, let's see. Yep, return the stone. And we can now begin the ritual. Curious to see what becomes of this. But over after this, there's only one more spot to take a look at. The house on the hill itself. You did it. You're very obedient and useful. Now let's begin the ritual. Behold, immortality is upon us. Simply step into the glowing transportation circle nearby, and the process will begin. Alright, we've completed the quest. And something actually does indeed appear here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a hop on it then. And it throws us up in the sky to fall down. Um, maybe that this is a work in progress. Maybe it's supposed to teleport us somewhere else, I assume, in the future, maybe? Yeah, at the moment, it doesn't actually go anywhere. But it is a fun little quest to find something here. A lot of places are starting to do this type of thing now. Which honestly does make them a little bit more fun to go through now that they have a little bit more interactivity like that. But here we go. Just want to take a look at my backpack because I never actually saw what the reward was. May not have had a reward. Auto mail. Now basically this place seems to be a whole reference to uh, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, an anime and manga series that was fairly popular back in like the early 2010s and I think uh, like late 2000s. They had they had two different series on it. First one basically didn't follow the source material, the last half of it, and the second series was the one that followed the source material completely through. Yeah, it's an interesting little tidbit here. You could definitely come to this place and have no idea what the reference is for sure. The Uncleless of the Vile is uh, the antagonist of the series basically and all that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it.